Hello and welcome to the 11 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shabat. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa held a telephone call with the U.S. President-elect Donald Trump where His Majesty congratulated him for gaining the trust of the American people in the last presidential elections, wishing him success. His Majesty highlighted the deep-rooted historic relations between Bahrain and the U.S., which His Majesty aspires to enhance in various fields and wished Trump lasting good health and wellness and the U.S. and its people further progress and prosperity. His Royal the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa held a telephone call with the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah, to inquire about his health, wishing him lasting good health and wellness. His Highness Emir of Kuwait expressed his gratitude to His Royal praising the fraternal, amicable ties between the two countries. His Royal the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa issued a circular today regarding the holidays of the Kingdom of Bahrain's National Day and the 17th anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne. Marking the occasion, all government ministries, authorities and institutions in Bahrain will be off on Friday and Saturday, corresponding to December the 16th and 17th. And since the holiday falls on a weekend, the holiday will be compensated with Sunday and Monday, corresponding to the 18th and 19th of December. His Royal uh, Premier, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today at Glebia Palace Mayor of Houston, Texas, Sylvester Turner, and his accompanying delegation on the occasion of their visit to the Kingdom of Bahrain. In the meeting, His Royal asserted that the nations of the region are of peace and coexistence, which guarantees, along with encouraging economic factors, a solid ground for commercial and investment cooperation with various countries, pointing to the keenness of Bahrain to support the strategic economic cooperation with the U.S. and the city of Houston in particular. He commended the Bahraini-U.S. relations and its development in numerous fields and expressed his aspirations that such relationship would even grow stronger under the new U.S. administration. The Prime Minister also hailed the historic ties between Bahrain and the U.S., stressing his keenness to boost the prospects of bilateral cooperation and coordination between the two countries on all levels, particularly the economic and investment levels. His Rohan has emphasized the importance of bilateral meetings and the exchange of visits between officials and businessmen in order to broaden new horizons that contribute to overcoming global challenges. For his part, Turner affirmed the depth of the Bahraini-U.S. relations, citing the keenness of his Rohan as the Prime Minister to continue developing robust relations between the two countries in all areas. He also praised his Rohan as achievements in countless fields that become synonymous with Bahrain's renaissance and prosperity. His Rohan is the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa visited today Khalifa University in Abu Dhabi. During the visit, His Rohan has highlighted the importance of supporting the region's youth through robust educational programs in order to achieve target development goals. His Rohan has further highlighted the importance of building and sustaining a modern educational system which fosters innovation and creativity. He praised the university's strong commitment to reforming its education system and teaching methods based on evolving trends. He 
also cited the university's significant achievements since its establishment in 2007, including securing new patents and setting up specialized research centers. In this regard, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince underlined the commitment and support of the leadership of the UAE, headed by His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan, to further strengthen the country's position as a sustainable technology-based economy. His Royal Highness was briefed by the Khalifa University's Executive Director, Dr. Araf Sultan Al Hamadi, on the strategic plans and goals that the university is seeking to achieve and the modern scientific methods used to inspire innovation and creativity. He also toured the university campus, visited various departments in which he praised the work of the highly qualified teaching staff and management.
His Royalness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa visited today the headquarters of the Abu Dhabi Urban Planning Council, the UPC. During the tour, the Crown Prince highlighted that GCC countries must continue to prioritize close cooperation and collaboration to advance urban planning development. The Crown Prince further added that the GCC should closely align on urban development policies to ensure plans are carried out in accordance to international best practice and standards. Addressing Bahrain's sustainable infrastructure development the Crown Prince highlighted the Kingdom's concentrated efforts to accelerate urban development plans to meet the strategic goals of Bahrain's Economic Vision 2030, which prioritize sustainable planning and urban connectivity. In this regard, the Crown Prince highlighted that His Majesty's decrees that established the Higher Urban Planning Committee and introduced the Strategic Structural Plan demonstrate Bahrain's commitment to ensuring a modern and sustainable environment is realized across the country while preserving Bahrain's rich cultural heritage. The Crown Prince went on to praise the architectural achievements of the UAE, noting that they have greatly contributed to the GCC's reputation as a hub for modern design and infrastructure. Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King and the President of the Supreme Council for Women, the SCW, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, patronized today the inauguration of Misakin Project's first model at the Lausi area in the Northern Governorate. The project is specified for the fifth housing category to benefit from the services provided by the Kingdom. She affirmed that this project comes under the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa based on a study conducted by the SCW to monitor the needs of Bahraini women from various social categories. The study showed the need for such housing projects to accommodate one of the important components of the Bahraini society. Princess Sabika commended the efforts of the Ministry of Housing for providing residence for citizens, which is an inalienable right gra granted by the state. She affirmed that the housing rights for women is one of the Council's priorities, which would support the stability of society's cornerstone, which is the family. She expressed thanks to Viva Bahrain for its contributions in furnishing the project's apartments, affirming the importance of the private sector's role in supporting such developmental projects. Her Royal Highness toured the project's apartment models, which were designed in accordance with the beneficiary's social circumstances. She also toured the facilities that have been provided in the building. She was briefed about the project by the Minister of Housing, Dr. Basim bin Ya'goub al-Hamar, who praised the SEW's efforts under the presidency of Her Royal Highness Princess Sabika al-Khalifa. Al-Hamar noted that the Ministry of Housing has taken it into account during the planning phase to provide the beneficiary's needs. He added that 3,500 women have benefited from the housing units. His Highness, the representative of His Majesty the King for his Charity and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, chaired the meeting of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports held in Bahrain National Stadium today. In the presence of His Highness, the first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Athletics Association, Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the Council's members. During the meeting, new sports and youth initiatives were discussed and the results of various government projects aiming at activating the council's policies were reviewed. 
As Hanna Sheikh Nasser highlighted the importance of preserving the major achievements accomplished by the youth and sports movement in the kingdom, under the support and interest of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The Secretary General of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, congratulated His Highness Sheikh Nasser for being honored with the Arab Social Media and Influencers Summit Award and for being granted the Association of National Olympic Committees, the ANOC medal. His Highness Sheikh Nasser welcomed the Council's members hailing the efforts of various official bodies to participate in implementing the general policies of the Council, which come in accordance with the directives of His Majesty the King. He also noted the importance of integrated work between various government ministries and bodies to enhance the march of the youth and sports movement, focusing on the necessity of creating programs and initiatives aiming at developing the youth and sports sector. The Minister of Education gave a presentation about the construction project of a sports school that provides a comprehensive sports and education program for students as well as the project of allocating a sports class for team sports and athletics. The Minister of Education reviewed the strategic goals of the sports school project including the development of student scientific education as well as their sports one and choosing talented athletes according to modern scientific principles. The council assigned the Ministry of Education to prepare a study on the allocation of a boys sports school and a girls one in every Governorate. The Undersecretary of the Ministry of Works, Municipalities and Urban Planning, Engineer Ahmed Abdul Aziz Al Khayat, gave a presentation of the new sports stadium project, which consists of four training fields and a shopping mall. The first deputy president of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and president of the Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, sent a cable of congratulations to the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and president of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, on the occasion of His Highness Sheikh Nasser receiving the Arab Social Media Influencer Summit Award in the youth category in a ceremony held in Dubai under the kind patronage of the Vice President and Prime Minister of the UAE and ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. His Royal the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa deputized Sheikh Isa bin Ali Al Khalifa to attend the reception ceremony held by the Japanese ambassador to Bahrain, Kyosho Asoko, at the Ritz Carlton Hotel. The ceremony celebrated the Japanese Emperor's 83rd birthday in the presence of senior officials, diplomats, and other invitees. Sheikh Isa conveyed his Royal the Premier's greetings and wishes of abundant health and success to the Japanese Emperor and people. He also hailed the development of the bilateral relations at all levels, which reflect the two countries' keenness and enhancing cooperation as to achieve the mutual interests. For his part, the Japanese ambassador expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal the Prime Minister for his efforts in supporting the Bahraini-Japanese relations. He affirmed Japan's keenness in developing cooperation with Bahrain, commending the development of Bahrain in all fields. The Minister of Interior, Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, attended today a parade marking Bahrain Police Day, celebrated on December the 14th of every year. Also present were the Interior Ministry <laughs> Undersecretary for Nationality, Passport and Residence Affairs, the General Inspector, Public Security <laughs> Chief and Interior Ministry Undersecretary. The celebration comes in recognition of the tremendous efforts and sacrifices made by Bahraini police in maintaining national security and stability for the people of Bahrain.
After that, the interior minister inspected the guards of honor. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على خير المرسلين سيدنا محمد. On the occasion, the Interior Minister delivered a speech in which he offered his best wishes and greetings to His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince on the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne and Bahrain's National Day. He also expressed gratitude and appreciation to the constant support provided to Bahraini police by the wise leadership to elevate the security level in all aspects. Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah also expressed sincere thanks and appreciation to the tremendous efforts exerted by policemen in the protection of security and public order. والذكرى الخامسة والأربعين لانضمامها في الأمم المتحدة كدولة كاملة العضوية والذكرى السابعة عشر لتسلم حضرة صاحب الجلالة الملك المفدى حفظه الله ورعاه لمقاليد الحكم كما أبارك إلى صاحب السمو الملكي الأمير خليفة بن سلمان آل خليفة رئيس الوزراء الموقر حفظه الله ورعاه وإلى صاحب السمو الملكي الأمير سلمان بن حمد آل خليفة ولي العهد نائب القائد الأعلى النائب الأول لرئيس مجلس الوزراء حفظه الله ورعاه ويطيب لي في هذا اليوم الرابع عشر من شهر ديسمبر الذي نحتفل فيه بيوم شرطة البحرين أن أعرب عن خالص فخري وتقديري بجهودكم المشكورة على الدوام مؤكدا بأن ما قمتم به من أعمال مخلصة في كل وقت وفي كل موقع وما قدمتموه من تضحيات جسام إنما يؤكد حقيقة واحدة وهي أننا مصممون على تحقيق الأمن في هذا البلد وإرساء عدالة القانون مهما كلفنا ذلك وهذه مهمة وطنية ينجزها من تحلوا بالإيمان بالله والولاء لمليكهم والتفاني في سبيل وطنهم من أجل أن يسود الأمن وينعم الناس بالاستقرار والطمأنينة واسمحوا لي أيها الأخوة أن أهنئ البحرين بكم وأهنئ أهلكم بما لم فيكم من معاني الرجولة والفداء فلم تكن دروع الأمن تلك التي تحملونها في أيديكم ولكن ما تحملون في صدوركم من إيمان وإخلاص وولاء وانتماء وإن مهمتنا الأمنية الشريفة هي لمن أراد أن يكون في الطليعة وفي مقدمة الصف الوطني حفاظا على أمن البلد ولمن وجد في نفسه النزاهة والأمانة والثبات على الحق والتحلي بالانضباط فمن لا يضبط نفسه لا يمكن أن يضبط الآخرين واعلموا أيها الأخوة بأن المؤسسات الأمنية في أي مكان فهي مستهدفة من عديمي الضمائر ولكن لن نسمح بذلك أو بأن يكون بيننا من هو متخاذل أو متردد أو فاسد فقد كان لتاريخ شرطة البحرين محطات مضيئة في العمل الوطني وما زالت ماثلة في الذكرى والوجدان وظلت على الدوام المثال والقدوة بفضل من تشرفوا بالخدمة فيها 
من جيل الرواد ومن تبعهم في العمل في سلك الشرطة أيها الأخوة الأعزاء إننا نسعى إلى إشاعة الأمن والطمأنينة في نفوس الناس وليس بخاف علينا بأن طريق الأمن هي طريق التحديات خصوصا في ظل في ظل ما تمر به المنطقة من تداعيات أمنية غير عادية فهناك مناطق غابت عنها سلطة القانون وأصبحت الجريمة العابرة للحدود أكثر تعقيدا وتأثيرا ناهيك عن الأفكار المتطرفة والاتصالات المتعددة والفعالة والأموال المسخرة وما نتج عن ذلك من انتشار للجرائم الإرهابية الخطيرة ولكن وبتوفيق من الله سبحانه وتعالى فإن ثقتنا كبيرة في شهامة الرجال الذين عرفتهم وعرفتهم البحرين الكرام المضحين بأعمارهم من أجل أمن بلدهم وبما نحظى به من تنسيق وتعاون وثيق مع إخواننا في قوة دفاع البحرين والحرس الوطني وبفضل الإسناد الوطني اللامحدود من قبل المحبين المخلصين لهذا البلد من مواطنين ومقيمين إضافة إلى عمقنا الأمني الخليجي وتعاوننا مع الأشقاء بدول مجلس التعاون والدول العربية وكذلك تعاوننا الأمني مع الأصدقاء وحلفائنا العالميين وفي هذا المقام فإني أدعو بالرحمة لشهداء الواجب الأبرار الذين قدموا أرواحهم الغالية في سبيل الوطن وللمصابين بالشفاء العاجل ووفاء لتضحياتهم سيظلون على الدوام موضع التقدير في يوم تكريم الشهداء في السابع عشر من هذا الشهر حيث سجلت شرطة البحرين أسماء خالدة على طريق الشهادة وإن أبناء الشهداء وذويهم موضع العناية والرعاية فهم أمانتنا ومن حقهم علينا أن يعيشوا على هذه الأرض كرماء أعزاء سائلا علي القدير أن يحفظ مملكة البحرين وأن يديم عليها نعمة الأمن والاستقرار والتقدم والازدهار في ظل قيادة سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة الملك حمد بن عيسى آل خليفة عاهل البلاد المفدى حفظه الله ورعاه والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته After that, a number of officers and non-commissioned officers were honored for their dedication and effective execution of their duty. Then a military parade was performed.
Then a demonstration reflecting the field skills of the officers was performed. The Minister of Information Affairs, Ali bin Mohammed al inaugurated the National Day Festival at Bahrain International Circuit. He expressed congratulations to His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, His Royal the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa on the anniversary of the formation of the modern Bahraini state in the era of the founder Ahmed Al Fatah as an Arab and Islamic country in 1783, the 45th anniversary of Bahrain joining the United Nations and the 17th anniversary of the accession of His Majesty the King to the throne. He also voiced pride in the achievements of Bahrain and the prosperous era of His Majesty the King. He also congratulated the citizens of Bahrain on such a happy occasion, adding that such national celebrations represent patriotism and loyalty to the leadership and to the kingdom, as well as as reflecting the accomplishments of Bahrain in various fields. The minister valued the support of His Royal the Crown Prince for the well-organized national festival held in BIC, the home of motorsport in the Middle East for the fourth consecutive year. He expressed thanks and appreciation to all government and private bodies for their support of the national occasion, which reflects loyalty and allegiance to the country and its leadership. He also pointed out a comprehensive media plan that includes a number of technical, cultural and entertainment activities marking the happy occasion, which will be held in various parts of the kingdom.